This person was a person, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah ta'ala, radiallahu anhu, who was moved very quickly by the words of Allah Azza wa Jal. He was a person who feared Allah Azza wa Jal. He was a person who had the consciousness of Allah Azza wa Jal. One day in the house, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah ta'ala, was reciting from Surah Yunus. وَمَا تَكُونُ فِي شَأْنٍ وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْهُ مِنْ قُرْآنٍ وَمَا تَعْمَلُونَ مِنْ عَمَلٍ إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شُهُودًا إِذْ تُفِيضُونَ فِيهِ وَمَا يَعْزُبُ عَنْ رَبِّكَ مِنْ مِثْقَالِ ذَرَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ وَلَا أَصْغَرُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَلَا أَكْبَرُ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ he was reciting these verses in which Allah Azza wa Jal says that whatever you do, وَمَا تَكُونُ فِي شَأْنٍ وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْهُ مِنْ قُرْآنٍ And whatever you recite from the Qur'an, وَمَا تَعْمَلُونَ مِنْ عَمَلٍ And whatever else you do in terms of actions, إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شُهُودًا إِذْ تُفِيضُونَ فِيهِ Except we are witnesses on what you are doing. We are witnesses to what you are doing. وَمَا يَعْزُبُ عَنْ رَبِّكَ مِنْ مِثْقَالِ ذَرَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ And nothing is hidden from your Lord, even an atom's amount in the heavens or the earth. وَلَا أَصْغَرُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And that which is smaller than even an atom, and that which is greater than an atom, إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ Except it is written in the clear book by Allah Azza wa Jal. And when he recited these verses, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz radiallahu anhu started crying. When he started crying, his wife, Fatima bint Abdul Malik, she also saw him crying profusely. She also started crying. When she started crying, Abdul Malik entered the house. And when he saw them both crying, he also started crying. And the rest of the occupants of the house also started crying. Everyone started crying. This was how the heart of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz radiallahu anhu melted. Listening to the stern warnings of Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran. Once in the masjid, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz radiallahu anhu was giving a sermon. And he came to the verses and he recited these verses which talk about the terrors on the day of Qiyamah. The terror of the day of Qiyamah. Yesterday we were talking about the signs of the day of Qiyamah. And he recited verses from the start of Surah Al-Takweer and he said, إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ كَدَرَتْ وَإِذَا الْجِبَالُ سُيِّرَتْ وَإِذَا الْعِشَارُ عُطِّلَتْ وَإِذَا الْوُحُوشُ حُشِرَتْ وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ فُجِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ وَإِذَا الْمَوْؤُودَةُ سُئِلَتْ بِأَيِّ ذَنْبٍ قُتِلَتْ وَإِذَا الصُّحُفُ نُشِرَتْ وَإِذَا السَّمَاءُ كُشِطَتْ وَإِذَا الْجَحِيمُ سُعِّرَتْ وَإِذَا الْجَنَّةُ أُزْلِفَتْ now these verses talk about the terrors of the day of Qiyamah when the sky will fall, when the sun will be woven and will lose its sunlight, when the mountains will remain mountains no more, when the sea will be full of flames. So Allah Azza wa Jal talks about the terrors of the day of Qiyamah. And Umar ibn Abdul Aziz on the pulpit, he started crying. When he started crying, the rest of the audience, they started crying. And everyone was crying so much that the walls of the masjid started shaking. Because of the terror of the day of Qiyamah, because of the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. This was the piety of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. We can't become true leaders of the Mu'mineen. We can't become true leaders of the Muslims. We can't become true leaders of human beings until we adopt taqwa first and foremost first and foremost without that we can't become true leaders that is the only way